Hello my wonderful family and welcome back to another motivational video and welcome if you are new. Either way, I'm so glad you decided to click on today's video for your daily motivation. My name is Lynette and on my channel you will see cleaning motivation and decorating inspiration. If you enjoy that kind of content, I ask that you subscribe before you leave, give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos from me and share this with a friend. With all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get my downstairs together i reset in my downstairs area because i just got my fireplace done and my cabinets painted and basically my whole downstairs was neglected because of that so i'm gonna go ahead and get it all together definitely clean this bathroom because when the guys were here doing the renovations um they were using this bathroom so i wanted to go ahead and get it cleaned up and wiped down um i did use some disinfectant but not the whole entire bathroom but um, I did get it all the way together because I wanted to just get it together. I was just stressed out. Um, I'm not used to living through getting anything done in my house. So like me not being able to use my kitchen and then my living room being a hot mess really had me stressed. I was not getting anything done. I am a fond believer of if your house is not together, um, it will mentally mess with you. Yes, my mental was not on point because of my house being a mess like it was. And just like people being in my home. Those are things I'm really not used to do having in my home. So it was a little bit stressful. But I'm going to go ahead and get it done. So if you wonder why I have on these crazy socks, it's because I was cold. And I refuse to change my clothes and dirty up more clothes um, to clean up. Because I really don't feel like I need to get dressed to clean up my house. Especially when you're going to be getting dirty anyway. Ways. but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get my downstairs area together let me know how you fill up my, my kitchen and my fireplace and also like when I decorate my shelves let me know if I should change anything around or any inspiration you might have for me because I did not go out and purchase anything but the two pompous grass that you will see in the video but other than that I did not purchase anything for my living room whatsoever but anyways, we'll talk about that more once we get there. I'm going to go ahead and get this bathroom together and move on to my kitchen. If you all don't know by now, I do love white. If I can have everything in my house white, I would. But that's not realistic. But anyways, um, just another question. When the guys were doing my cabinets, I thought about getting my cabinets and my bathrooms done. So let me know what you think about that. He said he'll come by if I want to get it done. But I want to get my bathroom vanities painted white as well. Um, I told him if I do get it done, it'll be in November. Because I need to really think about it. Because it did stress me out by having people in my home it did i'm not used to that and i like having my space to myself i just i don't know i'm just not like a person that likes a lot of company or things like that so when all those people was in my house it was kind of stressing me out and i don't know if it's because i had two separate people with my home one set of people for my fireplace and then one set of people during my kitchen so it was like six people in my house within this whole entire week so um i think that's what overwhelmed me like a lot of people in my space like you know literally had me all over the place but anyways um i did tell him i would let him know by november um i would want it done in november because december i will be getting my countertops done and i don't want to have a lot of people in my house all at once all over again so um i'll get i'll get my bathroom vanities done in november if i decide to get them done if i want to live through that again um because i know i won't be able to use my bathroom vanities any one of them for um 
24 i mean 48 to 72 hours he said so um i want to think about that long and hard because that is a few days of us not using our bedding because it has to dry and all of that so anyways just let me got let me know what you think about me getting my bathroom vanities painted um i did buy hardware for my bathrooms as well so i did go ahead and put that on my two bathrooms my daughter has her own um hardware she has black hardware now i think i'm gonna change my mind about my floors once i got my cabinets painted i said my floors are not too bad like i'm okay with keeping them but i'll still make that decision as well and then i also changed my mind about getting my vanity and my bathroom changed i swear like literally having those people in my house made me like i just need them in my house a little bit of time as possible so i was like i'll get the other stuff done but i might not get that vanity done because because I know number one that vanity will be the vanity in my bathroom will be time consuming because I will have to get plumbing done and then the double double vanity will have to be put in the drywall will need to be repaired and everything will be need, need to be repainted and then they'll move on to the other things so I was thinking of just scratching that vanity thing off the list and just getting my vanity painted and then put in my new faucet on and my new um, light fixture and leave it like that because that's a lot of work so I know it'll be multiple days of work being done and I don't want anyone in my bathroom that long because number one I need my bathroom and it, it I feel like I'll get anxious about it so I'm thinking about not even doing that and just having him put the um, things in there and leave it like that so I do have two faucets faucet so I'll, i'm gonna put the other faucet in my downstairs bathroom so i don't have to take them back to home depot and then i'll use the other one in my bedroom and still keep my um light that i have but i just like it is too much for me so i'm still waiting for the guys for my um my closets and stuff like that he said two to three weeks so this is going on third the third week so i'll be calling him next week just to get an update and then um uh, my countertops will not be in until december so that will give me a little break of people being in my house so um then he'll come in december and do the rest of the stuff that's how he pretty much work he don't like to um do things here and there he rather just do all the work i need done at once so once uh, my vent my countertops come in and my island he'll be back in december to do all the rest of the work that he's supposed to be doing and then i call myself putting in the shelf because i had extra shelves for my living room makeover or my living room um refresh or whatever and I was like, I didn't want to take those back to Home Depot either. So I caught myself putting them on the wall myself. As you see, it was a fail. So I'm going to wait for him to come in December and have him put it in there. I mess up the wall and everything. I do not have a clue of how to do anything handy because I'm not a handy person. I don't paint. I don't do anything but decorate or clean. So I'm going to have him put those two folding shelves up there. I already had the decor um, for those two shelves. I just shot my home. I told you I have bins and bins of bins of decor, so I was able to shop my home and get my shelves in my living room together and then enough decor for the two shelves in here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this kitchen back together. I did not put anything back in my cupboards because I didn't want to make a mistake and mess them up. Only thing I did do was put on my hardware because they were dry. Um, it was 24 hours since this was done, so he said after 24 hours I can put the hardware on. But I should wait a little bit longer to put the stuff back in the cabinet. So I went ahead and waited. Plus, I also contacted him because I said I wanted another coat on the cabinets. Because um, a few spaces I've seen like a little bit of brown bleeding through. But he said because my cabinets are so dark, um, he knew that might happen. And he's okay with coming back to do that. And he stand behind his work.
Just want your time Want your time. Yeah, sometimes when I feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like a mirror you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like a mirror you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end
Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. Yeah. Away nights are sleepless. Do we need? 
space yeah maybe you are brave boy you're my weakness giving we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug too caught up in your love i've been trying to forget but you won't let me something in my brain holds you i've been hanging by myself asking for help but nothing seems to work on you yeah You ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone. Tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready. Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay And I have to know, say, where are you? Where, where are you? Hey. Don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone. Tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is you saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all I crave, so I wonder. When I need you most, we got love guaranteed, and I have to know, say. Don't be so hard to reach, just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Someone must have broken my heart, like really torn it apart in another life. In another life, someone must have really fucked me up. Like, cause my heart to stop in another life. In another life, otherwise, I don't know why. I keep coming back to this, keep fighting all of it. Don't try. 
trust that there's love to give I don't know why I just can't believe in it Like somehow I can't commit Guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Really about it open enough Oh, yeah, I got an issue with love Yeah, I got an issue with trust Worry that it won't be enough Someone must have made me feel bad but who I was and what I had to give, oh. Someone must have told me a lie when he played with my mind in another life. Otherwise, I don't know why I keep coming back to this, keep fighting all of it. Don't trust that there's love to give. Now, usually when I decorate a space, I have a vision of what I want. But when I was decorating these shelves, I ran around my house trying to find items that might look right on this shelf. Um, and then now I have some empty spaces that I have to go back and fix. But um, I pretty much got every single piece from another part of my house except for the two vases with pompous grass. I ended up going to um, TJ Maxx last, like two weeks ago and I grabbed these two vases and that was pretty much it. Everything else came from my home. So I'm just trying to figure out what looks right and what don't look right. Let me know if you think I should purchase anything or everything look good the way that I have it um, I did move one thing around but other than that I kept it how um, you guys see once I'm done but I was like I cannot believe I didn't have to go shopping because I had intentions on going to Ross today because I wanted to get new things for these shelves and it just opened here we have never had a Ross now the only thing I really don't like is these little like things right here these chains I don't know how I feel about it like it needs to have something underneath it um, I don't don't have any more books to put underneath it so I just left it how it was but I'll figure that shelf out but I think I like the way everything came out um, I usually have more time to decorate like I'll literally spend hours on taking pictures sitting back come back to it but because of for video purposes I didn't have as much time I usually would have when I decorate something like this but like I said let me know what you think of the shelves should I move things around should I add something um, I'm thinking about maybe going to purchase some books to go underneath the chains because I don't like them playing by themselves like that but I feel like that um right there needs something it should really be give and take fill you up and leave me empty baby was that to my mistake covering his feelings going through changes just so mad right now I can't even think straight just tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't I did purchase the end table to my coffee table and my entryway table, but it was too big for the space. So I ended up putting Smoky Crate back where it was at. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that table because it's not returnable. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I am going to take it upstairs for now just because it's kind of expensive and I don't want to just put it like in a basement or anything like that. But someone did ask me, um, do I put a bed or, or 
or what do Smokey sleep on in his crate? He don't sleep on anything but um the mats because he don't like anything in his crate. Every time I put something in his crate, um he didn't like it. He'll push it all the way to the back of his crate. So I just put like the training mats in there and he sleep on there just fine. The only time Smokey is in his crate is 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night because that's his bedtime. And he comes out at 5.30, 6.30. Um, that's what time he usually come out. That's about it. That's the only time he's in there. And that's just the way he likes to sleep. But I'm going to go ahead and um, fix up his toys a little bit because he has so many. It's just like they barely even fit in his basket anymore. They like to take all of them out. So I'm going to go ahead and put them back in because he was having a fit because they were not where they're supposed to be because of all the stuff that was getting done. So I went ahead and put him back in his corner so he'll know where his toys are so he could play with them. And he was so happy once he got them all back together. But Smokey is not downstairs right now. He's up in my daughter's room. He likes to take a nap with her. So um, like I said, the only time Smokey's in his crate is at nighttime because I still put him in a crate at night. My daughter wants me to let him be out at night, but I still don't trust that because he have had um, moments where his stomach is not right. And I would hate to have to have that on my carpet. So I still still put him in his crate at night just in case um something goes on because he's very sensitive so anything can make his stomach upset i'll just put him in a crate at night and just let him be out all day because he's out like i said from five something in the morning or six something because five something when i have to work but six on my days off because me and smokey get up around 6 30 6 40 he uh, wake up first or i'll wake up first and i'll let him out and he'll be out for the whole entire day anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the downstairs area done and then that will be pretty much summing up this video i hope that you all enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos for me and i will see you in next week's video where i'll be getting my whole entire house together hopefully my table and chairs will be in for my dining room area so i can go ahead and show you guys that and get that together but i will see you all next week i love you all thank you for all the love on you know me getting these dogs bites or whatever they're healing good i have to go get my stitches out um i was hoping no one seen them in the video but they're on my arms um and i took the bandages off so they can you know dry out so they can heal good they are very itchy right now and um the one bite that was really bad that area is still very numb and it feels really weird but they said that's normal it'll get better but yeah tomorrow i will be going to get my stitches out and i'll be so happy so i can have my life back because it's just like so weird with these stitches here just feel weird to me but anyways i love you all and i'll see you next week Some luck in the back. I don't give a what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay.